a hearty stew sure fits the bill for fall dinners. There's nothing like coming home to the smell of a delicious beefy stew. And this recipe has a few special touches that makes it a true standout. Get started by making a dredge for your beef. Here I have some all-purpose flour and some flat leaf parsley and some fresh thyme, a little pinch of salt and some ground black pepper. Give that a good stir. And then these are one inch pieces of boneless beef chuck. Put that in a few pieces at a time into the flour mixture and give it a good toss. If you wanna save yourself a little bit of time, a lot of times in the grocery store, they'll sell stew meat that's already cut up for you. Now when this is done, keep this flour mixture aside because you're gonna use it a little bit later. Now to get my stew going. I've heated some oil in a Dutch oven over medium high heat and cooked the meat in two batches. Then add some carrots, these tiny little Yukon gold potatoes cut in half, some cipollini onions. You could also use just a regular yellow onion peeled and cut into wedges, and some cremini mushrooms. You might also see them labeled as baby bellas. Give that all a stir and cook it up for about three minutes. Now for some of those interesting ingredients. First, some tomato paste. Gives it a nice color, thickens it up. Then, spicy brown mustard, which gives it a real zesty flavor. And the reserved flour mixture. That's gonna thicken it up. We give it a good stir to get it distributed all over our meat and vegetables. And now, some beef broth. And a bottle of dark porter beer. This gives it such a rich, dark flavor to our stew. And a bay leaf. Give it a good stir, bring it to a boil, then cover it, let it simmer for about an hour until the beef is tender. When your stew is ready, take out the bay leaf and ladle it up and serve it with some delicious crusty bread. This warm, hearty stew is so great for a chilly autumn evening. <laughs>